ago. Hey, and, power lines. Did you submit that to Lenswork? Yeah. Have you heard That's back? That's going to be a, well, no, but I'm expecting. Remember the four page spread where it opens up and then it folds out? It's like, oh, you're going to be like a centerfold. <laughs> a centerfold spread on uh, uh, yeah. everyone. There's going to be like 12 centerfolds. Everyone. That's going to make that a really <laughs> thick magazine. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> Hey, let's talk about social media today. Oh, let's. You know, so, is, uh, <clears throat> is social media... Ruining fine art photography? Or, yes. or is it a good barometer? Uh, you know, we touched on it in a recent episode, but I was going to kind of continue going down that rabbit hole, but I knew I, I wanted to spend a little bit more time on this rather than just have it be part of is another. Is it a good <laughs> barometer? I like that question. Yeah. So is it a good barometer for... For your work what do you think well i think it will tell you one thing what is the most popular image yeah but the question is does popular mean best if yeah, you get an image that gets a thousand likes and you get one that gets 200 likes is the one five times better gooder as you would say gooder. than the other <laughs> Is it what is it a barometer of? It is a barometer. Yeah. But what of? You know where this came from? I just remembered where this came from. I was struggling as I was Brooks gonna bring again? this up to remember where this this concept came from. Sean Tucker, who's a, a brilliant British photographer, um, you sent me a little oh, video oh. clip recently yeah, yeah, yeah. where he does like a 10-minute video, and it's excellent if you haven't seen it. And I wish I could remember the name of that. But if you go look up Sean Tucker on YouTube, if you haven't been following him, you Yeah, should. don't go out and shoot. Stay in and listen to this. Video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do like <laughs> that. Just what we were talking about recently, right? <laughs> go watch that. But actually, Sean Tucker's book called <laughs> Meaning in the Making is excellent. There's no photographs in it. Mm. He does have, uh, what do you call those, QR codes where you can look at some pictures. Pictures. but it's a book a very thoughtful presentation about the meaning and the making of photography it's, i think it's excellent but he was the one who spawned or spurred me to think about this idea of using social media and he postulated that um he talked about he, he, he he's a good street photographer and he's got these beautiful triangular shadows or really strong shadows on walls with a person walking through there. And he he says, I can make those a dime a dozen. You know, I can do those every day, all day. And I know I'm going to get 10,000 likes. Right. We're all the way back to that concept again. Yeah. He says, but it, but am I growing? He says, I want to be more than that. I want to be more than the photographer. And it, it also ties into a recent episode where you said your audience might shrink, but that's okay, right? So the goal isn't necessarily having a bigger audience. The goal, I think, is making more authentic work with without any regard for what the audience is. So if you're using, so my take is, if you're using social media as a barometer for whether your work is successful or not, I think it's the wrong jungle to be pounding around in. I hope Brooks won't mind, but he, I just this reminds me, he did do a recent, here's a oh. thought about who is our audience, meaning on social media, who is it who is saying like, like, like? Are these all gallery owners and curators and museum experts? No. No. There are a bunch of guys who just watched an hour of porn and now he's over on Instagram for a few minutes. I mean, <laughs> these are not really, they're the least qualified people to be judging your personally expressive work. Yeah. And yet we take great meaning in it because there's a bunch of these. Now, when you do it, what do you get? Do it again. Ah, you got nothing this time. Oh, hey, it should be doing it. Oh, it's probably because I've got the, uh, that's not that's doing it. Probably because I've got the, the thing background going now. So who is our audience? I, I would argue that no audience is worthy to judge our personally expressive work. I don't care if it was Ansel Adams, Edward Weston, Weston, Capa Negro, and Strand, Strand, and all of the great masters. Nobody should be judging your vision. Uh, and so to me, it doesn't matter who the audience is, but really, if we look at who's on Facebook and Instagram. They're not the great masters of photography. With, so, with the, you're right. With the rare exception, I mean, you do have 
in my Instagram feed, I mean, I do have Alistair Ben make a comment once in a while. I do have Sarah Marino, David Johnson. You know, so there's are people who I respect and love. Sure. But I think you're right, and that was the 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 Sean Tucker video. He also talked very explicitly about who that social media audience is. And once again, he he had the same thought that Brooks did. It it's not an audience made up of sophisticated viewers of art. It's 35,000 people who might follow you, or in my case, 6,500 people who follow you who are just doing this. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. it. There's yeah. there's no value to that whatsoever. And and in that in that video, Sean also talked about the fact that your audience is probably going to shrink because your more expressive, meaningful images are generally not going to be highly impactful. They're not going to like that image behind you. Yeah. It's not necessarily yeah. highly impactful. Right. You know what I mean? But, but as a, a part of the series, it is necessary. It's a necessary actor, but as a single standalone image, it's not going to get any likes. Yeah. Hey, let me ask you this, John. Let's pretend you have two social media websites. One is just a bunch of Facebook blah, blah, blahs. And the other is all very accomplished, fine art photographers. Are you going to take a different meaning from what Facebook says of your images or versus what this other website says of your images? Does it matter if the audience is sophisticated and accomplished versus a bunch of yahoos? Yeah. I think both of them are are dangerous. I think both of them are not valid. Both are irre irrelevant to what Better word. Created. Better word. Yeah. Yeah, I think. And, and it goes back to the Bernstein quote. There is no good art or bad art. There's just different art. Yeah. And it may be meaningful to me and it may be important to me, but nobody else appreciates it or likes it. That's okay that's the real message that's okay totally okay keep but and keep doing that keep expressing your personal vision yeah. and eventually someday you know it may resonate very deeply and differently with somebody as you continue to share that vision i've had that happen i've seen work i think about um intentional camera movement work you know early on i would see that and i've it repulsed me. I didn't like it at all. I thought it just looked like blurry images. Now I see bodies of work by specific photographers that I'm blown away by. Mm -hmm. So I've matured. That's another subject. Do we mature? Your maturation? As yeah, maturation as a photographer, not as a person. I know I'm immature as a photographer person, <laughs> but we'll talk about that another day. All right. So there you go. That's our thoughts on that topic today. Stay tuned. After you like, ring the bell. We always forget to do that. You you like, you know, subscribe. And then if you ring the bell, that means you're going to be notified yes, of a yes. few. And you definitely yes. want to ring the bell because you want to not miss a minute of the stimulating <laughs> conversations. Can't we put this like people can watch our videos like at 2x speed and we sound a little more interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you get done in half the time. <laughs> you they can do that in uh, the viewer on youtube yeah. actually yeah. you can make it faster that'd be fun right. i'm gonna listen back and see what that sounds like bye <laughs>